इस तरफ से गुजरे थे काफले बहारों के आज तक सुलगते हैं जख्म राह गुजारों के खलावतों के शा, शायदाई खलावतों में खुलते हैं खलावत के शायदाई खलावतों में खुलते हैं हमसे पूछ कर देखो राज पर ददारों के गेसों की छाँव में दिल नवाज चेहरे हैं गेसों की छाँव में दिल नवाज चेहरे हैं या हसीन दुडलकू में फूल है बहारों के पहले हंस के मिलते थे पहले हंस के मिलते हैं फिर नज़र चुराते हैं पहले हंस के मिलते हैं फिर नज़र चुराते हैं आशना सिफत है लोग अजनबी दयारू के नमस्कार एंड वेलकम हेलो एंड वेलकम टू शीतलनाथ कॉन्वर्सेशंस वीक एंड शो दिस इज योर होस्ट जुगल कोल स्पीकिंग फ्रॉम द थ्रेश होल्ड ऑफ शीतलनाथ कॉन्वर्सेशंस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड आई फील स्लाइटली आई रिग्रेट एंड आई फील सॉरी दैट आफ्टर अ ग्रेट लल ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट वन एंड हाफ मंथ्स वी आर अगेन face to face with each other uh, because i was busy with my uh, personal domestic affairs but uh, yet chitra of conversation was on its uh, r&d was on we were researching meeting people talking to the personalities and that's how it is it's certainly a great uh, you know uh, great ray of joy again has come and touched my heart that we are again in a rendezvous with all our wonderful esteemed viewers uh, followers you know the great people the legendary personalities who have come and conversated who have done conversation on this platform so that's how it is and uh, i feel really 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 grateful to all of you once again my gratitude and uh, so again uh, like that old bioscope wala in a street in a street indian street who goes and tells uh, the children that here is another slide for another bioscope movie so today i am again going to pick up as a bioscope wala and move again to this mosaic uh, which is known as the civilization in this part of the country this known as crown from the time immemorially kashmir and uh, its stories its anecdotes uh, tread across the civilizational you know peripheries and go into the history art culture literature musicology monarchies transitions uh, waterways landscape uh, inter and intra community you know interactions and uh, bon homi and um, you know what not retires travel logs and um, chronicles and also you know about many things about the the, the, the legends the icons the uh, the maestros as dp there used to say uh, the the you know uh, men and matters used to write a column i heard from my elders men and matters and certainly today we are going to talk about a man and the matters uh, so matters around surrounding him so we are going today we are going to talk about the life and times of uh, dr vijay sazawal uh, who doesn't know dr vijay sazawal he is an em- eminent indian public figure and a nuclear industry professional expert a well known you know uh, nuclear policy analyst uh, a vociferous commentator on india and its northern state kashmir uh, specialized in intra community uh, you know issues including the political dynamics so we are also going to talk about his wonderful book which is a collection of his you know specialist uh, this you know articles over the last 40 years Uh, between 1986 and uh, 2023 it's a, it's a, it's an analysis of rapid changing uh, landscape of kashmir and uh, certainly we are going also to talk about many other aspects uh, he has written extensively on kashmir and well known specialist papers bringing forth internal and external socio political dimensions during the um, unfortunate horrendous you know that mass exodus which happened in 1990 when all kashmiris had you know come out and it was like an ethnic cleansing and uh, he had played a very crucial torch bearer's role in exposing the historic tragedy to the international arena uh, he is a founding member and the former president of uh, indo american kashmiri forum and he is present international uh, coordinator of this forum and he is also 
the international coordination for the sister organizations like similar sister organizations like Indo-Canadian Kashmiri Forum and Indo uh, Indo European Kashmiri Forum, and uh, he extensively is writing for the Crown of India Kashmir, and its return to the days of pristine you know normalcy, pristine stability and peace and tranquility and bonhomie. Uh, in this domain, uh, he has uh, interacted with a vast uh, number of people. He's continuously engaging with the interaction with a wide spectrum of people, uh, the national and local levels, which include the bureaucrats, uh, the journalists, uh, and, the and, the, and, and, and the politicians, and last but not the least, the common man. The common man, the, the, the wide uh, spectrum of common man, uh, different sections of our society. Uh, he's a former alumnus. You must be know, you must be very proud that he's a former alumnus from Tyndall Bisku High School, Memorial High School, Srinagar, and Amar Singh College, Srinagar. And then he has done his uh, you know masters in engineering from United uh, completed masters in engineering in United States of America. And uh, he is also you know uh, you know uh, he has also completed his doctoral degree from United States of America. He's a very well-known personality in American circles, a frequent commentator on The Voice of America, a well-known member of, a, of an NGO which is aggregated with the National Human Rights Commission, uh, National, uh, the United Nations Human Rights Commission, uh, Human Rights Council. Yeah. So uh, he has spoken several times in the Geneva about Kashmir. Uh, he was invited by the U.S. Congress and uh, you know um, the, the the administration and the think tanks several times to speak on Kashmir on, and his political assessment and commentaries uh, on local governance in Kashmir has been uh, put on record and been published by the local dailies as well as the television networks. Uh, a specialist in. Uh, nuclear fuel cycle, he was appointed by U.S. government, member of U.S. Department of Commerce's Civil Nuclear Trade Advisory Committee 2011, where he was re-elected after, um, I mean, by, I mean, after two years, every two years, he was re-elected for three times, and finally, till he super innovated in 2018. Uh, he is, uh, he's also been awarded by Kashmiri Overseas Association immediately after in aftermath of that horrendous mass exodus in 1992 uh, and where he was um, uh, honored for 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 his for for the for highlighting the plight of kashmiri pan kashmiris kashmiri pundits and uh, he's also been awarded by this you know uh, uh, american foundation hindu foundation for his uh, you know lifelong service to the minorities issues in kashmir he's an expert an expert on nuclear agreement for the U.S. India Business Council, senior fellow in the U.S. Nuclear Infrastructure Council, and advisor of U.S. government on Kashmir. Dr. Sazwal is a very well-known uh, leader of, uh, of eminence amid the Kashmir diaspora. He is, uh, I, uh, you know, it, this is not a political program, this is not a religious program, but yet when the personalities who have the political connotations, they come in, we certainly can't, we have to talk about their life as well. So here is Dr. Uh, Vijay Sazawal, and I am really grateful that he has come, his magnanimity, and let's invite him back to the studio. And uh, uh, Dr. Sazawal, welcome to the 105th Shitalnath Conversation Show. It's a great honor to have you on my show. Sir, it's uh, 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 a pleasure for me to be on, on, on the show, on the show also. also. Uh, and I thank you for uh, inviting thank me. You for I thank you for, thank you for sharing, uh, sharing, uh, sharing uh, this uh, program with your, with your, your colleagues, colleagues and your audience. audience. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, it's uh, a matter of uh, great satisfaction. Uh, uh, you want to talk about this. I look forward, forward to this conversation. Thank you very much. Once again. Uh, Dr. Sab, you have spent your infancy and younger days in Kashmir. And uh, you I want to know and elaborate your witness of Kashmir in those tender days and your family, neighborhood, landscape, institutions, inspirations. How different it was from the other contemporaries of yours? Well, uh, uh, how different you know, from uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, I would say my, I would uh, say my uh, uh, you uh, know, 
getting getting uh, uh, upbringing, upbringing in Kashmir was, was very normal, normal very spiritual. spiritual. I, didn't I didn't belong to any uh, uh, rich family, family or anything. Or anything. I, I, what I will call uh, middle class, typical middle class family. Typical family. Yeah, the, and, uh, yeah, one, of and, uh, one of the unique things that was with our, with our family, family, family was that family none of them were in government service. Oh, that's true. That's true. That sort of lent you stature in many ways in Kashmiri among Kashmiri Pandit community. And really, uh, we were we were really uh, business oriented people. We, uh, the, uh, most of the business was primarily in the medical uh, distribution, our uh, pharmaceutical distribution, uh, with which not only my my. Uncle and my father, and my even uncle and my uncle, 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 cousins, and my uncle, there were cousins, other, others, others in, the in the family also family, also wearing it. Also in the so it was a it was a very uh, mundane middle class life. Uh, uh, we uh, we grew up with the, you know with the, with the people on on our on either side being making uh, families uh, born in. Uh, in Badiyar, uh, next to Ganpatiyar, in, in Badiyar, uh, and uh, and Badiyar, we had we had a very old house, probably two three hundred year old house, and then eventually though we moved what was then a suburb, which you can't recognize today as a suburb, it's, it's uh, as crowded a, a ghetto as, as uh, any ghetto uh, which is which is Wazir Park. Wazir uh, Park. So we moved there, and, and there all our Family, family, cousins, cousins all, all made, made a similar-looking house, actually identical looking houses. Houses. So we were in a big compound uh, with multiple, multiple houses. houses. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, so that was, so that was sort of this uh, family uh, style. We did have when the you know, when the, when there was a property. Uh, our family was like the first phone around, around there. there. Our, my dad had the first car, car in the family. family. I mean, we were already, already there. there. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, so he so was he always was kind of, kind of uh, 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 very, very, very uh, 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 forward looking, very out, out, outgoing uh, 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 person. And, uh, and uh, uh, one, one of the one things, of the things was, was that he and he, 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 my mother would go to a school, which is better, better. Uh, because, because there's no, there was no there was sense in those days that uh, you had to you be had in to the top schools or you know, know with that sense of uh, yeah. uh, uh, entitlement, entitlement or, or some, uh, getting, getting the, the quality, quality of the schools was not important. You could go to, go to, go to actually the most popular school among Kashmiri Hindus was DAV school, which was a private school, and that was so you had a government school and you had a DAV school. Then you, if you went to either Burnall or Bisco, uh, Bisco school was closer to our home. So Burnall would have been closer, I think they would have sent me there. But the interesting thing is that when, 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 when I was sent, was sent there, there, most of the family members, uh, especially uh, from my mother house side, they said they the said school, school is no good for academics. It's only doing outdoor uh, you know, excursions. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, it's excursion <laughs> and boating and rafting and all that stuff. No well, reading. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I gave to the credit of my parents. They said, no, this is the school we should go. And it's a little tuition that perhaps I afford, but I would take him from that school. So, and unfortunately, and unfortunately for me, me I, was I was an overweight, overweight a, a boy, and so, so I couldn't really enjoy those uh, sports, sports activities like, like most of the people did. At my age, it was it was, it was really uh, very very, very uh, sort of hard for me uh, for those kind of activities. But uh, but I don't I don't remember ever blaming it on my parents like to get their kids to go or. Or, or, or they have become dysfunctional or anything like that. It was all taken into the weight of the day. It was a very, 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 very mundane, mundane simple life. life. I, 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 uh, I, you know, basically the focus was entirely on, uh, you know, on, uh, on studies and, and uh, school and, 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 and we had a few friends. Um, uh, I didn't have many friends. I had a few friends and. Uh, that, was, that was that was that was the nature of that group. Uh, uh, we used to a lot of activity in that sense. Uh, my family was very outdoor oriented. 
We used, we used to go to, to uh, uh, we, every, every year, year we would go to Kalgam or Gurdwar. It was the only good place. Where we would, would go for summer, we would pitch a tent, we would do, actually do outdoor walking and all that. And I uh, still remember the bath the early morning, morning taking a leather Kalgam, you know, storing my feet. Ah, leather. Uh, uh, my dad said, no, we have to do it. That's, that's where we're going to take our bath. So those were really uh, very, very memorable days. That so it was a very ordinary life. Uh, 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 there was nothing really, you know, uh, uh, you know, sort of, sort of standing out. That would tell me, you know, I went in a certain direction uh, or, or not. One of the easy things for us was, uh, quite frankly, when I was growing up, I didn't really think about my future or anything like that. Hmm. In our, in our, in our age, age, it was a set thing that our, our parents would do that thinking. That thinking. Hmm. And, 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 and so, uh, so when so I when went, when I went, went to, uh, you know, you know uh, uh, there was a there question, was a question we went from a from Amherst Amherst College or SP College. College. Amherst 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 College, of course, was very really, really close. It was literally about five minutes to walk, five, ten minutes to walk. But it was decided that I was not going to go in for medical school for engineering. For some reason, they thought Amherst College was a better choice for uh, engineering. Uh, engineering. Right. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even participate in that discussion. I was just a nice thing. As elders were all discussing where this boy should go. And, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and the fact that you had been grown up with the idea that that's okay, so it didn't hang up in your mind. You can't tomorrow say I didn't do well because you didn't let me have the decision. It was not, it was nothing like that. I mean, the fact is, uh, it all worked out. So, so very, 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 very positive, positive memories, memories of childhood. I mean, as I said, you know, the you only thing probably we were missing, we, 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 didn't, we didn't have those Lal Bhakti, uh, 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 policemen and Lal Bhakti and all that townhouse, which we saw of many, 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 Government, government job, but I think I think that was that I think that was a very thin, very slim minority. Rest of all, we were all middle class, lower middle class people, Kashmiri pandits. Very, yeah. very true. Yeah. But you know, they would, they would, they would, I mean, you could see their. I mean, I thought there was, a, I thought that was the only thing growing up when I felt there was a social class among Kashmiri pundits. <laughs> elites. Those who were working for the government and those who were not working for the government. They were elites. <laughs> they, they, yeah, they, were, they, they kind of gave themselves that sense that they were good. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, uh, but, but it was, it, it was okay. I mean, our, as you said, our size was very large, so we were, we were, we were in that, that, that pool of ordinary people, ordinary families, and we did okay. okay. That was so lovely. That was so lovely. Uh, you you have written a note about your father that your father was a very you know avid golfer and he went to the club. He was a man of many many tastes and many uh, he wonderful talents and he was an explorer and um, a progressive personality, a man of aspirations. Very fascinating personality. Tell us about something about. Also, no, no, he, he, he was he was a really very really special, special person. person. Uh, uh, you know, there used to be a column be a coming in, in uh, uh, the readers, right, readers, 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 which you used to subscribe, by the way, which I would read also. Yeah, people uh, have. Which, which had a, which was, which was a, the most unforgettable character I've ever met. It used it to be, used to be the, the sort of a monthly column in that. that. And actually, and once I actually took the exercise of writing that essay, and mailing it to readers, like Though it never, you know, it never had so many grammatical mistakes and all those things, but it never made it anywhere. I'm the subject they wouldn't care, but I, I do remember that. He was, he was on the cutting edge in many ways. You know, he saw himself as, uh, as a pioneer in the, in the, in the, in the line of work that he did, and, and, and he had a, 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 a special. Uh, you know, you know mentions for the the, the the good good dressing up. He would he, he was, was a very yeah uh, natty, 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 uh, uh, you know you know person, person with the suits and all, and all that. that. I remember I still in childhood he had two tailors. Uh, one, uh, one was uh, called Exelshire tailors, which was uh, on on the, uh, on the burn, and, and the other one was called F H Paul, whose successors are still near Adams right now. And, and he would he basically, would, you know, kind of switch between the two, depending on, on uh, one made one kind of suit, another one made another kind of suit. So he loved, 
uh, wearing very, very, very fine clothes. That was one of the interesting things. Very immaculately dressing. Yeah. Very immaculately yeah. dressed. Yeah. And, and yeah. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, you know, the other, the other thing, thing was that, that he was subscribing to magazines like Psychologist, Time Magazine, and Reading Digest. You know, back back the 1950s. Uh, uh, you, know, you know, when, 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 when hardly anybody, you, you, know, you know, in fact, Kashmir book shop, shop, shop which was next to next on residency road next, next to Adi, they, they would, uh, they would tell, tell him, he was a Sadhati who owned the place, he would, he would tell, tell him that, you know, that, you know I, get, I have fun time getting these magazines, magazines because you are the only one in the city who is subscribing to these magazines, and I, and they all come from UK. And, and, and so, he uh, said, uh, okay, it doesn't matter, matter. Even, even if they're, they're one, one or two months late because of the school, 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 you know, charges are uh, uh, not too steep, so, so go by surface mail, but, but they're still they're valuable. So, 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 he so he was, was you know, he was very, 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 very well read and very well, you know, into the into the activities, you know, of, you know the day. of the day. Of the day. And I didn't, I didn't see him see growing up. I didn't see him politically oriented in any particular direction. But he was social. He was experimenting with socialism, as you have written somewhere. Socialism. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, he, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I was talking about personality. That's right. He was actually at one time an avid member of the Communist uh, Communist Party of uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Yeah. Uh, I believe uh, probably yeah. somewhere yeah. around 1945, 46, 47. No, he was in He was in. He was an SP college. And and and, and I think I think, it, I, think he, I think I think those were those were the days when you know people like D P Dar and 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 you know those those kind of guys were also hobnobbing with them and and and, 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 and uh, uh, um, you know, we had I think one and one and everyone. It was fashionable. One and everyone in Kashmir was a socialist in those days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 uh, but in but terms of uh, in terms of what I was trying to tell you today was in terms of his uh, his, uh, his, uh, his uh, religion. I mean, his religious propensity of Hindu versus Muslim. That really never occurred in my youth. Now I would say that changed in him. In the, in the later in the years, years, but not and not, not in the years yeah, that I was I was still in the valley. I never I saw, saw uh, him ever talk, talk about anybody, anybody Hindu, Hindu or Muslim, Muslim in a derogatory way. Yeah, that thing was not existent in those and, days, and, 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 uh, back uh, days. Uh, that yeah. to me was you know, so. Uh, if I had a couple of Muslim friends and they would come home, they, they would be welcome. I mean, there was no nobody. Ah, there was no restrictions in those days. Yeah, there was no such thing. No, I again, I will tell you. Um, uh, uh, post 1970, that changed. Uh, he 1970. Post 1970, he changed because he started putting the pressure on his on his profession, oh. where you know basically you know because he was really successful, and, and after I would say if I had to put a year on it, it would be the year that Shahidullah came back to power. I think 74. I today, today, as I look at it from a, from a, as a political analyst, I would also say uh, that, that, that the turning, turning point in Kashmir was really when, 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 when Sheikh Abdullah and, and, and Sheikh Saab uh, came to power. Uh, Indira Gandhi uh, signed the agreement that they would be back for him or come to the I think state just went communal slowly, step by step by step. Uh, after, uh, that, after that, after that, that I think uh, probably th there could be also one of the reasons the competition among the uh, lot of Kashmiri Muslims. They started reading, coming to the college, and doing businesses, which had a pressure, which built a pressure in the complete economy. Or something like that happened. No, 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 that was already there. What 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 believe it. Because already the, the people were people were getting you know that that enlightenment had already come. I mean, ever since you can argue, ever since uh, forty nine or fifty when when uh, uh, took over the power. I mean, it it stayed consistently in the hands of the Muslims after nineteen. No, that's true. Uh, and so majority. You know, they, so they were uh, they were there. I mean, I saw myself uh, effect of that. Uh, can argue for a soft off ethnic lensing. Hmm. See, I, I, I was, I, I, when I graduated <laughs> from Amherst College, I was, I was uh, something like eighth or ninth from the college, you know, in terms of my uh, FSC degree. And I think for the state, 
I was I like twentieth or twenty first. Now, now at that, at that time, time, there were. There were I remember, I'm, I'm going in engineering. engineering. Okay, so, sir. So, so, so my so family applies to the Regional Engineering College, Srinagar, and it, and it had electrical, electrical civil, civil, and mechanical, mechanical the only, only disciplines at that time. There were there were sixty seats each, and thirty were assigned to the valley. 30, 30 were assigned, were assigned to out of state, state. because it was a regional so engineering college. Regional. So I, I had applied, applied for electrical, electrical. And, knowing and knowing that, that I was 21st in the, in the, in the, in the uh, and I knew and I not all 21st people above, above me were all applying, applying to the engineering, to the engineering college. college. So, so I knew I should get it. And yet I did. This is 1962. 1962. My goodness, way back then. So I pushed very hard. It's very, very difficult, difficult for me, as I said, we didn't have any relative in government service, so we so had to we go had to, to cousins, cousins to cousins of cousins, cousins to find cousins some good person who would go and you know, right. you know go into the system and find out what happened to this. Why did this boy get? Finally, they they call me. The registrar calls me. Don't remember his name. Anyway, registrar calls me. The regional college. And he comes in, and he's, he he first gives me a big lecture about how smart I am, how intelligent I am, how impressed I am, like this thing. And then he tells me, you know, you can get your you can get your admission to any school in India. Okay. So why are you so particular about staying here? I mean, this is a small college. This is just started. It is you know it is you know not that it's not that well known. Let go somewhere where you can actually get real education. Let some young young less fortunate boy get your get 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 in place of you. And I insisted, no, I want to be in this college because apparently that is that that was the you are the merit and you are eligible. That was told that you have to insist. Then he comes with a compromise. He says, you know what? I will give you a seat in metallurgy engineering. Oh, that was hopeless. You don't have. I said you don't have metallurgy engineering. You have only civil, electrical. He says, no, no, we are planning to start it in a couple of years. Start it in a couple of years, and you will be given oh, a, and you will be given a sort of associate seat till then. I said, what happens if I I don't get it? I don't get it. Say after two years. Then he says, well, you will have to be sent to a school in India, which has a which has a exchange program with Kashmir, where they give seats to. Boys and girls from Kashmir. Boys and girls from Kashmir. So in other words, it could be any college. In other words, it could be any college where where they would where they would they would they would cut a deal. So I came home. I said no. I'm not. That's not acceptable to me. But the idea you can see is, of course, then I went to Banaras University. But the idea you see is, they knew, the moment I will leave the leave the valley for 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 education, higher education in India, I'm pretty much gone. Once for all. So that is the soft. So it is. I'm talking about 1962. We're talking about soft ethnic cleansing in Kashmir. Cleansing in Kashmir. Doctor, basic question comes into my mind. It's not a political show, but you are a very veteran in this field. I I really understand. Fail to understand one thing. We we were sizable minority. We were small minority in Kashmir, and when the democracy came in, and our forefathers like Sheikh Saab. and jawaharlal nehru and other uh, they didn't plan any any protection to us in terms of you know so that we could sustain politically there wasn't it evident and obvious that uh, we were slow, we are in the minority and things maximum things will go to the majority didn't we did you know our elders understand that y- yes yeah, they, 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 they did actually they did but the they, understanding they actually did the understanding that nehru had that nehru remember had, in india remember, in india nehru faced the same nehru problem with minority and his mindset okay. was that was part of the part democratic, of the democratic process, process has to be an accommodation of minority, of minority. Hmm. And, so and so he created, created lots of spaces in which the minorities of, of india the minorities of india would actually not and, and and further yeah. themselves further themselves equal, he was equal expecting, terms. he was expecting that his best that friend shake mohammed who came he gave across to him equally <laughs> as democratic <laughs> and as much as democrat yeah. as he was great leader he was shake saab was a great leader in yeah. kashmir he was a lot tallest leader yeah. and, 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 and 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 it was very difficult at that time to think he would not because because when he would show up at these meetings in delhi He would, he show, would up show up with with with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with with people, people like, like Mr. Dhar, Mr. Sarah, 
<laughs> all the kids. You know, you know, all these, all these uh, people who are with, with him. So, bazaars, bazaars, uh, Premnad uh, bazaars. Well, bazaars. I don't know that, that, that agree, but 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 but, but these the, his ministers yeah. were, were with him, and 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 that was uh, you know. Uh, so he so had he the had feeling that, that he, he, he would be similar. similar. What, he what he did, of course, course realize that that, that was that Sheikh was actually looking for a way out to get his own Sheikh. And and, and and that became apparent uh, after he sent him to the United Nations to defend India. Well, he did a great job in the speech. If you, if you look at the speech of um, uh, in the United Nations uh, in support of India, uh, it's wonderful. But he was he subsequently met with American officials and they basically uh, uh, you know manipulated him. And then they came back to India and in India they again met with him. And that's, and that's when, when uh, Nehruji had, had no, 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 no other, other choice, choice but to take it. That is the typical Kashmiri nature. But I think, I am, I also pity one thing. Today, Sheikh Saab has done so much for the majority. Although he was, he had a lihaz kind of a thing with the minority, but there was no to protect us. But uh, Sheikh Saab did so much for the majority in Kashmir. Uh, yet today, I feel, I am saddened to feel that majority now, they are all taking their back to Sheikh Muhammad Abdullah. Malab, such a tall leader who really liberated them and emancipated them. That is something, dichotomy. I, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't agree, I don't actually. agree actually. Okay. Because, because, because there is, there is there optics. optics. I mean, social yeah. media yeah. and all yeah. those yeah. things. Yeah. Of, 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 I mean, there are there some cronies of his opponents who are raising that kind of thing. I mean, I, yeah, I, I go I to Kashmir all the time. All the time. One, of, One the of the big things was, was I, I did the dissection on, on, on the election, the election that took place uh, uh, recently right, of, the of the parliament, the parliament, the parliament seat. seat. Unanimously, most, most people, people at any strata said, said Sheikh Abdullah Saab gave us the dignity, gave us the land, that's so which we will never, will never forget. And India can, can do what all it can do, what all dramas it can do, what all, do, what all improvements, improvements it can do. Can do. For them, they think, think that we will not vote NC. Is 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 yeah, is that is true. Not, and they should, they should, because NC has so, given so, them so, everything. So, so, yeah. so, 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 as I said, I have an analyst who is who is not is not not pro BJP, anti NC, or we are not pro Congress. I am not. I am I am an analyst. I look at the ground. The ground is very clear. BJP, BJP can, can spend zillions of rupees, but it cannot come back. Sheikh Saab, because yeah. they still remember that, that our, our people, people have basically have been in those fields, you know, uh, uh, busting their backs. Right. They didn't own, own any of that land, land and, today and today they, they own, own the land. land. Now my own, my own, my own thought about this, this is that it was probably justified, but but he went, Sheikh Saab went one step further. He did that without compensation. And I don't and think I don't that think was that fair. fair. I don't I think don't they know. should. That was not fair. Even probably I, I heard from. I think, I think the yeah. central yeah. government should have intervened, and and and, and basically and they should have they should have, they should have taken up the case. And this this idea of land to the tailor basically was it was for the big huge landlords. It came from the Russia and other places than in India and other UP. But it was for the huge big land barons. It was not for the ordinary land dwellers like. Kashmiri Kashmiris, not only Kashmiri Pandits, sir, Kashmiri Muslims were also land landholders. I heard an interview recently, a Kashmiri Muslim, he was he was crying, he said that Sir and Sir is Zameen Khai Yimo Greshtev. Malo we were I saw Stat Par Zameen Par Tamul Vata, Trakawa Tamulus Vata, Panya Zameen Hun. Malo they they had a land. Not only Kashmiri Pandits had the land, Kashmiri Muslims. I mean there were, you know, it all depended on who was in the court. Yeah. Doc Sab, you are, we will come back to the basic subject, then we will move slightly on the outer periphery. It's very enjoyable. Uh, we are talking, your father, you have written that your father is such a great man, I mean, who took a very parallel path and who just, uh, just defied the traditional way. Of going to the uh, going to the government job and created his own you know empire, and finally that's that man who lived life to the fullest and finally he he used to see horoscopes uh, when he went after the post migration. He was a bit was he a bitter man after 1990s when he, he was migrated. very bitter. He was very bitter. bitter. One of the, of the problems problem was that, that until 1990, 1990 he would come, come and visit us at United States. Three point. 
but, but after 1990, when he, when he, he was forced out, out. Mm. and he went to Delhi, he went to Jammu for a few days, but he went to Delhi, he rented a place in Delhi. I told, I told him, him, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't, you can't take the heat of Delhi, come on over here. He said, no, I can't, because I have still left my house open. Uh, and, 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 and so and I got to go gotta back, back, you know, formally close, close the house, house and everything else, else and then, 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 you know, then so see then what, see I, what can I can do. do. Uh, uh, and the and tragedy, tragedy is, of course, in the meantime, the, meantime, the house was looted and burned. Burn. So he so sends me one day these photographs by mail of the Life Insurance Corporation, which was sending the photographs of our own house. And that really crushed me. He was, he was so, so depressed after that. After that. I, remember I remember when he when was getting in more health than after that. that. He, told he told me that when I die, die please, please, on my obituary, you must write, he died as a refugee. Oh, my. And, 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 and uh, uh, but frankly, that is what I, that's how I labeled it when that hospital was made in Moshe Samachar, Delhi. He was very, he was very, very depressed. You, uh, Yes, that's a very sad story of everyone among us and certainly the, the people of that generation right, who had never thought to leaving Kashmir. Kashmir was everything for them. So uh, with that, it, it, it brings sadness around. I would like to uh, come go back to your Benares days. What was your, what, what are your, you know, some, uh, do you well, remember well, some? One of the interesting, one of the interesting, interesting things in Benares, Benares was, was there was a large Kashmiri pundit. A diaspora there. there. None, None of them knew Kashmiri, Kashmiri, but they, they were all, all old Kashmiris. Kashmiri. They were basically from the 18th century, 18th century uh, you know, migration. Uh, migrants from 18th century, century who had settled there. there. They were obviously, they were obviously intellectually, intellectually in the upper crust of the what, what, what India now called the creamy layer. They were the creamy layer of the of the of the society in Banaras, and including the registrar. Uh, of, uh, of the, the Banaras University, University, who was a Kashmiri Pandit Dar. Uh, again, again, one of the issues, one of the, the, issue, one one of the, issue, one of the important, important elements was, 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 to, was to get, get in touch, touch with him after, after you arrived. arrived in in okay. And, and he, he actually really treated you like like you have really come as a God's gift to him. I mean, he would, every one of each one of the students, whether it's a boy or a girl, he would, he would treat, treat them, them like they are like God's, God's gift, gift that have been, that have been, that have been sent to Banaras. And, and, and he would he assign a mentor, mentor among all the Kashmiri diaspora that was already the, 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 existing there. So he so was he kind was of the big, big dada, dada of the, of the place. place. And, and everybody uh, around him. And his place was, he had a huge, he had a huge, you know, being the registrar, he had a huge house in the campus. And, and it was it filled up with Kashmiri artifacts. artifacts. Oh, no, you no, could no. not walk, walk literally, literally five, five inches, inches without hitting one. one. <laughs> it was a maze to go around any of his, of his rooms. rooms. I don't know, I don't know what, what, how his rooms, rooms were upstairs, upstairs the bedroom side, but all, all the downstairs, downstairs rooms, rooms, they were filled with, 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 with Kashmiri artifacts. artifacts. So, so we never we felt in that sense a degree of that loneliness that comes. If anything, we found, we found everybody, everybody who had who come with me, me or before me, a few years before me, we would all, all meet at, 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 you know, at, at, at various occasions at his house. house. Hmm. So, so Kashmiri Pandits who were recent uh, 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 you know, arrivals from, from the, the uh, student, student class, class would all meet. And, 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 uh, and so we all knew each other. And actually, and actually uh, one, of my, uh, my, uh, you know, one of my best friends coming out to me at that time, the boy who was from, I will not name him and all that, but the fact is, his father was a big senior government official in the NDA government. And uh, and he and, and he I, and I were, were the, the, uh, he was in civil engineering, engineering uh, which I can understand why his father said to him civil engineering at that time. time. And, and, and I was, uh, I was actually, uh, actually translated to mechanical engineering. And, uh, and uh, but we were, we were uh, good friends. We had different hostels, but we were all meet. And one of the one of the things we did together was go and see the buoys. In our time in Kashmir, there were three cinema halls. I think you all know that. But more importantly, the movies would come like six months to nine months after they were released in the rest of India, including in Jammu. 
Yes, uh, same was in Jammu and as well. But, but, it, 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 but, but in Banaras, there used to be generally at least a couple of days ahead of uh, uh, the national release. So, <laughs> so we had to see, he and I, we had to see the first day for the show, that was one way. And sometimes, you know, my memories are, we used to have monsoons, there is this guy in a rickshaw paddling his best. And, and, uh, and, and poor, poor fellow is not being able to go through the water, water that is in the streets. Of, of, and there is us sometimes time pushing the rickshaw, rickshaw also, also so that we can get out <laughs> of the street. But we had to go and see the movie. There was no the great college days. You, know, you want to see. The, uh, I remember there was one uh, very big fan of Devanand in Jammu, student. He had a motorcycle. And uh, when Desh Pardesh was released, it, was, it didn't come in Jammu, it came in some Jalandhar or some Patiala. He drove all the way from Jammu to Patiala to that cinema to witness that first first day first show. At that first day first show was a great craze. Yeah, yeah. So that was <laughs> that was, that was, that was, <laughs> I was I part, was of, part that. of that. And so, the funny, funny thing was that in, 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 in Banaras they, they used to have. These late, late shows, shows, late shows mm -hmm. on, you know, so things like, like uh, Churati, Diwali, Diwali and all that. that. Mm -hmm. And it was and it almost was a cluster. Uh, these are shows which, which are right after, after midnight. midnight. After midnight. And this and was, it was, a, it was a cluster that people would, half of the people would be drunk in that, that, that theater. theater. <laughs> and they would tear apart the place. And you would yeah. think that, that tomorrow, tomorrow there would be some action or there would be something that, you know, this theater wala has complained. No, no, he would he just fix those things, things and, and uh, he knew he this knew is a ritual that, that part of the ritual uh, and routine. <laughs> it will go through and, 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 and it will happen. And he, you know, this is his loyal, uh, uh, you know, customer, customer client class, so he's, he's not going to have it. So it was very unusual. unusual. And then, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Sadawal, you then had uh, finally landed into the United States of America and for your post graduation and engineering. And then you also did your doctoral, uh, I mean, degree from there. I played probably in 1975. I'm not exactly accurately. I don't remember now. I've read it. And uh, tell us something about this new land of aspirations, the challenges, and how did it inspire you? I mean, was it as well, aspiring? Um, my, yeah. my story actually yeah. begins in yeah. India itself because I was, I was in, in after, after I went to, I went to Bhopal, Bhopal. Uh, and, Bhopal and Bhopal had. had no, no, actually, actually there is an interesting, interesting story, story in between. Me. Uh, uh, my best, best friend in, 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 at the, in the school, school uh, 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 was a gentleman named uh, Ashok Ambarda. Okay. Ashok Ambarda's grandfather was Lambudarji and Lambudarji was one time Pazir was the last uh, uh, illustration of Maharaja Hari So they had a beautifully designed house by a British architect near Exchange Road. And and, 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 and and since he and I yeah, were lifelong like friends, friends, which by the way still he to use today, today he's also in the United States, States. and so yeah, we so have known him. He has written a he has he has written a book. No, 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 he's, no this gentleman is not. He's a he's a he's a he's a nuclear scientist. He's a biological scientist. He's a he's a retired professor, electrical engineer. He's he's totally non important and, and he, he is uh, he, he, he uh, and and, and, and he, he uh, so he and i have known each other almost, almost 60 years, years. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, anyway, anyway so, so um, he, he so i i i had hoped that i would join iit delhi undergraduate but because of the fact that i got because thinking i was going to kashmir because which is what my grandmother and my uncle and everybody wanted me to go and get that so i went to banaras but then but it was then decided that the masters will go to uh, IIT, IIT Delhi. Delhi. Hmm. But my but friend, friend Ashokji, he, he, he had already graduated from IIT. IIT. He said, I'm, I'm going, going to go to the go next school, which is challenging, which is in ISC Bangalore, the Institute of Science Bangalore, which is actually, you might have been in today, probably the best engineering school in India, even better than IIT. And so, so, so I also I applied, applied to Bangalore, I also applied to Delhi. Delhi. Uh, he, uh, he received, he received he admission from both, from both and I received I admission only from, from IIT, IIT Delhi. Delhi. Hmm. So, so I went to IIT Delhi, and when I went to IIT Delhi, I got, I, but I, 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 I could, got, 
adjust to the IIT environment. IIT environment. Because at BHU, because we were BHU kind of like, it was like almost those days, like a British, like a British uh, uh, you know, uh, Cambridge, Cambridge University, University style. style. They had a yeah. similar yeah. layout yeah. of uh, uh, hostels. There was discussion on social programs in the yeah. evenings. They used to have guests, uh, visitors coming in to give lectures on different issues of the society and all that. And so there was a high social interaction. Social yeah, interaction, yeah, extra yeah, curricular. That was missing that was totally in IIT. Nobody, nobody, nobody knew even anybody's, anybody's name. name. I didn't I know didn't. my next door uh, who was living, you know, I was living in Shwale Hostel. Shwale Hostel. And I didn't Shwale even know the name, the, I didn't the, the name of the guy next door. Next door. So yeah. I, I went to, well, I, I went I went to the next door just to make friends. I said, do you have a magazine? I will not tell you which magazine, but do you have a magazine? He said, what is that? <laughs> and uh, he didn't even know the name of the, you know, that, 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 I mean, he said, you're wasting your time. Anyway, after a few months, I decided that I didn't want to live I didn't want to stay at study. So I wrote to my father. I wrote to my father. I had to get a lot of courage to, to tell him that I don't want to be in IIT then. And, and you know what? He said, he said, okay, if you don't, that's fine. Um, which kind of surprised me. I, 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 I was not expecting I, I, I was not that expecting kind of an answer because everybody, answer in because everybody in the family, especially from my Matamal side, Matamal side who, who, by the way, who, who lived near Shitala. Okay. So, so, uh, uh, they, they, what they, was the fam said, family, family name? Badams. Family caste? Badams. Badams. So, uh, so, so, uh, so, so, uh, my, my grandfather, my, my grandfather, mamaji, everybody, they said, this boy is destroying his career. Nobody leaves IIT after getting up. No one leaves IIT. Even today, even now, nobody will ever deem of And, 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 and so, um, uh, but there it is. Now, uh, now, finish the story of the father first. Only a few years before, after he became, after he became, he came to Delhi after 1990, after he came to Delhi. Then in one of the conversations with me, he told me that the reason, uh, I have one thing to unburden myself, which I, I have not told you so far. I said, what is that? He said, you had received admission from IIS to Bangalore also. But I chose not to tell you that because I didn't want you to go to Bangalore. But look at but look God Karma. He, he was so, so God was God so upset with, with, with me that he that sent he you sent to America. America. He punished me with even a greater, uh, you know, uh, thing. But you have to remember the background of it is that I am the only biological, biological child of my parents. No. So, so, so he said, I couldn't stop you from going to America because I thought that was the punishment that I had received because I didn't tell you that you had received admission from ISC Bangalore. So that was the, that was an interesting aspect of life there. But you know, it's funny because many years later, after that, I would ask my mom, do you still feel I destroyed my career? Anyway, anyway, so you were talking about we'll, I, we'll, after that, I went to I went to Bhopal and in Bhopal I met a professor from America. America. And, and he took he a liking, liking to me. To me. It, was it was very funny because, funny because I was not the brightest student in there, there. But, he but he could understand, understand my English, English the best. best. So he got so he got closer to me. He would tell me, "Can you come here and tell me what this boy is trying to tell me?" And after I finished that, then he said. He said, Vijay, you, you have to you come, have to, come to, America. to America. I said, that, 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 that thought has not even occurred in my mind. So he said, why? He said, because I am the only child of my parents. They will never, never, ever allow me uh, you know, to go there or anything like that. He said, well, I will write a letter to them. I'll promise them. I said, no, it's more than that. How will I, what will I, because we are not rich people. We, we will not be able to afford the education. So, so, how do you how propose, do you propose uh, I pay for it? He said, you know what? Said, you I, am know what? I am the dean uh, of engineering. Of engineering. <laughs> I will give you a teaching assistantship from day one, from day which, one. which we don't do we don't normally. Do normally. Oh. But, but because, because your, your English, English is so good, is so good you, should you should be able, able to teach, teach. Uh, as an assistant to an instructor or something like that. So, I'll give you a teaching assistantship from day one. So, that will take care of you. And I'll write a line to my father. And he actually did. So, so that is that how is I ended up in America. America. So it was so never a plan. plan. I didn't. I, so I didn't. I even, you know, people, people don't. People. People. People don't believe it. I didn't even fill up the office or anything like that. 
I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do any of those uh, forms for testing of English language all that. I, I didn't even, I didn't even have I twenty plus. I had already received the uh, the admission and all the paperwork was done by the by the by the school by the by the college here, and that's how I got into the so, so, so how is the, the we'll, we'll just go through a very brief uh, summary of America, your days in America, the land of aspirations, how did it change you and what were the, who were the natives around, Indian and Kashmiri natives well, and how uh, was the life? In, yeah. in, when, I, when I came here, uh, quite frankly, uh, there was none in, in the school that I was studying at. Okay. In, in uh, and, you know, otherwise there were very few. Uh, 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 the closest uh, uh, where, where uh, was my friend. Uh, 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 he is uh, uh, the cow. He was in a market, market mission. But, but it, it was not something that you could see. see. I mean, at, at that time, time to, call to call India, India uh, to, call uh, to call Kashmir, Kashmir you, have you have to go, to go through a process in which you, you dial the local, local number, and then the number number will tell you we connect you to Delhi, but we can't tell you when. It can be at three o'clock in the night. It can be eight o'clock in the morning. And so then so they then would, then, then they would finally, finally they would, would get Delhi. Then Delhi would say, "Please hold on the line. Now I'm going to try Sri Nagar." And, and so you could not really be assured of any phone calls or anything like that. So the only way of contact was through letters, which would take about ten days, going in, going out. So people, you know, young people coming here, they have no idea the kind of. So there was a large degree of isolation actually. Because they were not that many of us to begin with, and so so then I when I once I so I was pretty you know funny because the Bangladesh war took place those days. My father writes my letter, you know, Indira Gandhi had come to United States. Did you see her on TV? Well, I couldn't tell her that I didn't even have a TV at that time. I had no knowledge of she had come or she had not. So we were totally isolated. It was, it was nothing, nothing like, like <laughs> what you see today. Then, 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 then I got a got job in 74 with a company, company and they and said, they said uh, I, I told them I don't know how, 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 how I'll be able, able to do it because I don't have any visa or something like that. Again, another divine intervention came in. The divine intervention was this company said, we'll take care of all those things. I said, well, I have one more problem. He said, they said, what? I said, I didn't have to you tell my, I had to go to India to tell my parents that I have to stay here for a long time. They said, okay, we'll give you a letter which is open, one year, uh, one year employment, open life employment. Go and enjoy yourself there, come back and join. So I actually went for three, four months to Valley and convinced my parents that I should stay in America for a few more years. Few more years. That's how it started. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, so, so, quite frankly, frankly, I was I living, living, I mean, we had a few friends, uh, uh, which, were, which were from our, you know, which we, who we knew, which we knew, we knew back home, as part of our extended family type thing. But these were like five or ten. Okay. And they were not, anybody was not, the closest Kashmiri Pandit to me was 60 miles, which is about 100 kilometers away. So it wasn't like you could see him every day. But nevertheless, we had we had those friendships. And I'm glad that those friendships are still alive and we're all growing old, but still around. But the, the fact of the matter is, until this event didn't happen in 1890, I wasn't really conscious of Indian politics or Indian design or even American politics. I, I, had, I had began involvement in American politics as part of my profession. Because mm -hmm. I was now you know, getting into the negotiation on foreign policy matters and things like that, and that part of my profession. So I had already started meeting with the state, senior State Department officials and embassy officials in Europe and uh, Eastern Europe, like Russia, Ukraine, and uh, what. But but as far as I was concerned about India, it was just a blank slate. Then, then we get we started getting started getting getting messages. messages. We started getting these letters. letters. I got many letters. I still have them. Where okay. people are saying, saying uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 sir, we are, we are, we are, we are nobody's nobody talking about us in India. India. We have been we thrown out. We are, we are living in these horrible, horrible conditions, conditions in Jammu. Jammu. Those tents were rotting. Mm. Where, mm. Where, mm. You know, people are dying. dying the heat, scorpion bites. bites. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, bites. Uh, 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 doctor, we'll come to that uh, okay. after. The after. Point is, yeah. point is, that is when I became aware of 
politics political okay. what i was asking was uh, was about uh, america as a land of as uh, iron rand used to say the, uh, the america is a land of opportunities america, america, america. land of possibilities yeah, yeah, so you were from kashmir how was it to you yeah. as you can see i did very well i did very well you know so i have never felt in my life i had a i was discriminated uh somebody didn't give me an opportunity because i was not of the right color uh i had i don't have any such experience i was treated with courtesy everybody knew that i had a smart brain and and and, and everybody wanted to be my friend okay so uh, so uh, to me this was not uh, just a land of uh, uh, for, for uh, opportunity but it was really a land of dreams mm-hmm. in that sense. Now, now, I'll, I'll correct myself quickly, I, I, I will not dwell on it right now. Right now. Mm. I don't speak of this country the same way today as I did then. Oh, what is the today difference? The country has changed, the country has changed dramatically. But, but those, those days, days, you know, those, those days, days you could literally uh, um, leave your doors, doors open. open. I never, I never when, when we were in, in, uh, in uh, Michigan or we were in uh, Pennsylvania, they never used to lock the door. I mean, there was no there was question, no question of, uh, of uh, anybody, you know, robbery, robbery, or, or yeah. murder. Yeah. It was hard to find in this country, and and and, and, and so uh, uh, it was a very different country. country. It was a, a lot of respect, uh, and and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, I had you know my experience was well that pretty much you you were hard. You are, you, are get, get, you are going to get you are going to get rewarded, rewarded. And, and it's in, independent of your color your paid or anything or like that. that now now in that, in that process, process you can you argue, argue how did how i see did the blacks, blacks? Well, well, the truth well, of the matter is i didn't I see them at all i mean in sense not physically see them in other words they were not in the in the in the line of activities that I was, I was dealing with. So you could be, you could you argue, argue on behalf of them, them and say and that you know, we were indistinguishable because, because you were not, you were not in the not universe in the that you were that operating. operating. Because we were not getting the, the opportunity to be in the universe that you were operating. And today I would probably agree with them. In other words, wherever we lived, there was not a single white, black guy anywhere around. Literally, there was no black guy around. Uh, and, 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 and and as I said, whites white never discriminated against, against us. us. We were we were, we were, were just like any like other uh, white, white family. family. Uh, black so, Black so, lives matter. Black lives matter. So so, 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 so for, for us, us, it was a it was, it was definitely a, a, a country of opportunity, country of dreams. Um, you know, I got like, like the promotions, uh, which which sometimes would actually surprise a lot of white people that I, I that the company would. Would, would give me those responsibilities. I mean, I mean, one of the irony was, was uh, I am in a certain, I am in a certain discussion in 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 Russia. Russia. It's in the Barents Sea, sea which is on the north northern end near the near Scandinavian border. It's an Arctic circle. We are dismantling the Russian. We are dismantling the Russian submarine. Nineteen submarines. I am a part of. I am a part of the delegation, which is which is actually a, a French delegation, because I am a member of the French company at that time. I was working for a French company, and our associates are American company, Lockheed Martin from here. And, and and then, and then we, are we are in we are in the uh, in, in Russia, Russia Russian Federation. So, so the Russian, Russian minister says actually, actually pointed, pointed to me. To you know, here is a guy hmm. who is from <laughs> India <laughs> <laughs> with an American, American passport, passport, working for the French, French company. company. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a kind of a surprise for everyone. Yeah. yeah? yeah. So, so, uh, uh, so that so that, 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 that is the that is the you know that is that was the kind of the the, 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 the thing you know I have a couple of uh, I'll show you here is I don't know if you sure yeah yeah I can see it yeah it's so a Russian my name is uh, yeah you were name in Russian and English to Doctor Vijay Sadhav. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and here's my name in Chinese. 
It's Chinese, yeah. I can see it. So, 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 so we'll come to those things, but uh, Dr. Sab, uh, uh, this is a very uh, wonderful, very uh, I mean, spectacular journey you had. Journey of challenges, journey of wonder. That's what life is all about, exploration. Uh, Tagore said that we were all in the web of fear in 18th century and slowly, gradually we started coming out of this web. So this web was, there were many reasons, you know, socio, political, uh, foreigners, travelers. But uh, before we begin and talk about your book, uh, the wonderful book, which is compi compilation of your wonderful articles, especially on Kashmir, specialist articles, and, uh, and your interaction with a wide score of people. But uh, before that, we'll, I'll first of all come to uh, 1990, that horrendous mass exodus which happened and your role in that imbroglio and uh, you uh, I'll have some straight questions you were part of preparing the strategy document for Panam Kashmir on 10th May 1993 when you were uh, you served as the first overseas coordinator for that uh, why did you resign in 1996 why didn't you your resolution dream work despite of 33 years just a wider broad uh, curious and question I'm, 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 I'm and I'll try to be as clear as possible yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, the reality, the reality is, is, we were, we were as the international coordinator, I was both the president and the international coordinator, matter of strategy. strategy. Uh, so, so we uh, went, went to, to uh, Jammu okay. to, okay. to find, find the sentiment of the people. We're talking about post 1999. And it was very clear, well, there are multiple organizations like, you know, Delhi, you know, the Samiti. Uh, what's it called? Kashmiri, this what? Kashmiri Pandit Sabha. Kashmiri Pandit Sabha. Yes. Sabha, yeah. And there was uh, uh, ASKPC all all, all, all Kashmiri Pandit conference. conference. And, uh, the fact the is, they were they, they were kind of all uh, out of whack. They were not they really they didn't really know what to do other than to get together and raise. We saw only one group we saw which had a lot of passion, lot of uh, uh, you know, you, you know, could you put, put the, the people, people on the ground, ground. you could call the people, the people come out and, and protest and do them. So we felt that Pan Kashmir had, had sort of created a rhythm in people's hearts, hearts yes. which was very, very much, much to the liking, liking of the people. people. Hmm. And, 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 and as a political and analyst, analyst, it's not to me, that it's not even important what the, what the message is. It is, what is more important is that there is a message that actually, that actually can get people, people out on the street. street. So more, so than, more the than the message, message it is the fact that that message has the power to get together. Because, because then, then as a strategist, my, my job is to see how do I harness that energy? How do I harness that passion hmm. to get in the direction that I want to take it? The wood, the that is that best, best for the people. For the people. Uh, knowing, because there are some underlying characteristics there. You have to know the quality of India. If you don't know the poverty of India, or if you don't learn about the poverty of India, there is no there is no way you can you know open your heart and give out whatever is in your wish list of your no bias no bias to your strategies not only bias to strategies then you have because that then tells you you know the you know the framework you know the dimensions you know the you know the assumptions under which you have to operate so that's very part that's very important to the to the success of a strategy you have to know the boundaries in which you can you can you can have to assert but as i said at that time the question was not whether the whether the message was within those boundaries the, the message was that or the, the, the term was that there is a message that gets people out with, with the passion and force so the challenge is how do we harness that how do we harness that to fit the, fit the uh, boundaries fit the, that are training the, the, the quality of India. So my message, so my to, message these to these guys was, was we have to now turn this into a, into, a, into a sort of force of action. And I told them that this can only be done now, be done now because once the once the once the, uh, uh, the, the uh, government, when the civilian government comes government back about. You know, you know, many, many of, the of the liberties, liberties that you have, that right, have now, right now, they will they be will immediately, immediately curtailed. curtailed. You are right now under governor's rule. 
you which gives right you a lot of a, a lot of very lot sympathetic governance, which, which, which gives you a lot of leeway which you will not get late. So then, so then we invited them to the United States, States because I wanted, I wanted them to meet with the people so that we don't know. And then and that's then when that's we asked for this paper. paper. And they and promised they we will follow the paper, we'll do the other thing. And obviously, it required, required money to be given to them. Yes, we, exactly. we, gave also. we gave money also. And then what do we find? We find they basically did a couple of things and there. But the key thing was they were supposed to be creating, they were supposed to be registering for a political organization. Organization. Now was key because now you cannot key, operate within the forms of the Indian party, without, the Indian party without, without having a political part. You cannot, you cannot. And, certainly and certainly you get this message back. No, 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 no. We are not a political. We have no desire to be a political party. We are, we are just a social conscience. What a social conscience. Well, and and your cause is political. And 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 there, right then and there, and then of course we went to do a micro analysis of why they are doing it, because part of that would have required them then to give you hand over the positions of presidency and all that to the non-government personnel, or they would have retired from their government job to 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 take up those because it cannot be the government job and be president of of a political. After you retire, you can do anything. After you retire, see, they were not willing to do that. They were not willing to give up their government job. Oh, sir, oh, sir, that's true. So that must be the truth. Yeah. And, 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 and uh, I, I don't, I don't want to go into the details of how, 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 how kind of those kind of uh, discussions took place, but there were tremendous discussions in that area also. But bottom line is, I'm making it very easy and simple for the people who are listening to you. They didn't know what to give up the government. And, and, and so, by the time I realized, they really were not interested in the success of this movement. They were really not. But to but them, them, it was very, it was simple. very simple, almost, almost like Puriyat. Like Puriyat's uh, role was, was, you know, you know give, us, give us, give us independence. Mm -hmm. And in fact, and uh, uh, when uh, when, uh, when some when British, British observers were came in, in uh, you know, they, they said even one day that Puriyat is living under the illusion that they will get up in the morning and India will offer them independent Kashmir on a platter. And, and, and to be honest, Kashmiri Pandits who believed that this movement also uh, at the leadership level also felt the same way. That somehow Indian government is going to wake up in the morning and give them, give them, the, you know, this, this some Kashmiri territory, a territory in, yeah, in a you have, to, you have to work within the party. So my point was, this is an aspirational goal. Just hmm. like in those days, BJP had an aspirational goal of removing Article 377. But, but they didn't they say didn't we are say not going to participate in politics unless you don't give us the article. Uh, you have to pass through. You can. You have to pass they, through they, all kinds of tests pass, and yeah, yeah. Have hardships. To, have to have an aspirational goal, and then you have to be part of the political play. If you are not part of the political play, then you are sitting outside. You can issue memorandum. But that's what I found out. I found out that, quite frankly, their 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 own personal aspirational goals were simply to be in the news. But doctor, uh, I put you the other, this question other way also informally. Uh, you will reply. I think I know you will reply the same way. Uh, uh, a political existence in democracy depends upon your conscience. Our conscience is very, I mean, very minuscule, and that too indifferent with each other. Yeah. Yeah, but but, but, but the, fa the, fa the fact, fact is, is, if you, if you want, want to make a, a make a make a make a dent in, in anywhere, you have, have to be a registered, registered political, political party. party. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'll go back, back to the discussion to which, which uh, 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 Amit Shah had with some people uh, uh, recently. Recently, mean just before the 2009 event, where he told them Kashmiri Pandit don't vote, and 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 he was telling them. You know, it is not important that you actually, uh, um, you know, win anything. He said, you know, he said, look at Muslims. He, he gave the so look at Muslims in most of the states of India. They, they, they won't, even though they know their candidate is not going to win. Because you, know, you, have, to, you have to have a political footprint, even though no matter how small it is, you have to have a political footprint to claim the political benefits. You cannot get political benefits. Without, without establishing, establishing a political footprint, no matter how small. So, so whether that, that would have made, made any made difference, difference or not, or not the, the fact is, by not, not doing, doing anything, anything, they basically they denied, denied themselves, themselves the entitlement, the entitlement of, having of having a political footprint. footprint. And, and 96, 96 is crucial because the moment, moment 
uh, the elections election were announced, I told, I told myself, myself whatever, whatever leeway they, they had, had it, it's, it's gone. gone. And so yeah, it's so time for me to... So to you moved out. And so uh, uh, now uh, this draft resolution which you which you were part of uh, about this Agdarshan, and uh, how relevant it is, just a brief note, how relevant it is after 33 years? Well, well the, 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 the basic, 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 basic steps, steps are the same. The problem, the problem of course, is, is now the now challenge is much more. I mean, at that, at time, that time, our population, our population in the valley was roughly, roughly around 350,000 or, 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 you know. Today, Today our, population our population is somewhere in the ballpark of 10 to 12,000. 12, in the valley. In the valley. And, you know, let me tell you another experiment I did recently, about six months back. Mm -hmm. I, got, I, got, I convinced the Kashmiri Pandit uh, uh, leaders of the various political parties that all the minority cells are, like National Conference has a minority cell. Yeah, every party has a minority cell, yeah. So I contacted them and I basically told them, why don't you all together sign a document which says, which is addressed to your presidents of your respective political parties and tell them, designate some consequences for Kashmiri Pandits. Hmm. So that so even though we don't, we don't know which Kashmiri Pandit will win, but we at least know one Kashmiri Pandit will win. Because because, because all parties, when I said all parties, I, I actually I didn't know all BJP. This, this primarily the PDP, National Conference, Azad, Azad Party, and Congress. So I said nominate a, 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 a KP, uh, uh, and, uh, and, and, and and for designated to play like play like Kamal like, like, or something like that, then we go for certain. There will be a KP reserve constituency for KP. Yeah, yeah. it will be. A, it will become a de facto reserve constituency. But, 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 but at least try. Try. Yeah. And and, 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 uh, and uh, they all they said yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then nothing then happened. happened. So I called a couple of those people later after about about. And two of them said conclusively, same answer, and that they were from two different political parties. <laughs> the, and the boss, boss told, told them, come in, come in, in, come in the valley, sit in the valley, put us in the valley, and then I will designate a seat for you. I think that, we could. And two parties said that. And two party, party heads said that. And I believe that was a genuine, I mean, that was a good answer from their perspective. And so Kashmiri Pandits have to make a choice. They can't be sitting in Jammu and saying, we want our rights. We will participate in that. But uh, I mean, I think I think it was the, the stature of the tallest stature of Sheikh Sahab, Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah. He could have done it. But I don't think present political dispensation, which is forcefully otherwise or naturally gone into the polarized uh, structure, it is possible for them to uh, give some political reservation, some seat reservation for. Well, they, they, no, they, they, they will. They will. They will, they will, they will uh, uh, obviously, they will be. Uh, you know, they will be assessing their own strategies on how what they would not do. The it. fact the is, is, even BJP today is BJP leadership in Delhi. Delhi. I'm, I'm in touch I'm with them at the very high senior level. Right, right. I know even that. They so are very unhappy, unhappy with Kashmiri Pandit. Everybody is unhappy with Kashmiri Pandit. I will tell you, there is a, there is a, there is a problem. Kashmiri, problem. Kashmiri Pandits are well-meaning, you know, peace-loving people. Intellectuals. But they have a problem. They have a problem. They choose their leaders who are horrible, who are mediocre to the most. And, and, the, and, the, and you are being punished. punished. You, you as a Kashmiri, as a Kashmiri, 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 Kashmiri pundit are being punished because, because you are, are allowing the quality of leadership, of leadership which is exists right now with with you. But doctor, so uh, and is BJP also. By the way, I'm putting BJP in that leadership. BJP is lower. BJP yeah, Kashmiri yeah, pundit leadership is very low, very low. So, so there, so, so there, so the leadership is is a issue. And Kashmiri pundits, it's almost the same way you can say, like Hamas. I mean, I mean uh, uh, ordinary Palestinians are suffering. Yes. But 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 they don't have the courage. Anybody has the courage to say, I I I I I I you know I hate this guy, this leader. You know, he he created this problem for me. Why did he go on after to 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 you know to rape and pillage? But the same thing, Kashmiri Pandit don't have the courage to throw them out. But in the times, in the time, Doc in the times when we had the best possible leadership like Shivnarayan Fotedar, like like this, what you call it, the reformist that 
famous Kashyap Banduji. Kashyap. We had the great leaders like them, selfless, and they had a vision. They had an approach to the central. Even Shivnarayan Fodar could directly go to the Dehruji, and he had the contacts. At that point of time, people, uh, general Kashmiris, didn't uh, accept them as their leaders. That's also well, the well, point. No, there's, there's, a, there's a reason for that. Also, I mean, the reason is by and large, uh, uh, especially the people who left the valley and went to Delhi. By and large, they mostly did not stay interested in what was happening in the valley. Hmm. And, and, and so, so while they were, they were very good themselves in Delhi, Delhi, they never they actually had a, chance, had a chance, chance to look back at what, what was going on in the valley. valley. And you know, and, you know I, I, I always wondered about it. I read an article, article about that also, also in the book. I always wondered about that when I was growing up. Why aren't people in Delhi, you know, we have boxers and cows and bulls and all that. And then I realized only this new migration where I found out the people who have already left in Delhi and all that, very rarely care for who is left in the valley. What, how are they doing their life? So we are a self-oriented community. I think Kashmiri at large. Hmm. And, 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 the, and, and the, uh, so as much as, as much we, have, we have, I mean, I mean as, long as long as you stay, stay as a reform-minded person, person, you are all right. right. But the but moment, moment you, you get, get into the politics, politics uh, uh, you are not going to be treated well by the community. By the, community. Yeah, the community has a different, has a different way, of way of thinking. thinking. And uh, it's a chronic inherited disease. It's very difficult for a Kashmiri Pandit to understand that. Many of, Many of their problems come problem because they don't really. really see, they think they, 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 they have their problems are because they're not united. But I will tell you, nobody in India is united. Nobody is united. Yeah, that's anybody is united. I mean, even today you can see in in in, in, in Israel they have people denouncing Netanyahu as much as you know, they are they, they love it. I mean, this this kind of thing is everywhere. There's no unity. But it is the leadership, the quality of the leadership, the ability of that leadership to take. Take those, Take those kids, kids. and yeah, that will that will decide uh, whether or not uh, it will be it will be all right or not. And I, 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 you know, I don't mind telling you as much as uh, BJP is upset with the, with the, with the I, I, I think uh, Mr. Modi is a great leader, and and he he actually is a, you know he has all the qualifications that make him great leader. And he is the greatest, one of the greatest in this decade in this era. Yeah. And, and, and so. Kashmiri Pandits, Pandits need a good leader. leader. That is, a, that is, a, that is a, that's, that's our sad uh, uh, situation that, 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 that has that not come out. Yet I am very thankful that he is uh, the, he has made uh, one foreign secretary has been elevated to the level of uh, f uh, there's a, there's a, a foreign sec Kashmiri Pandit foreign secretary. Uh, oh, Mr. Yeah, the, the, the foreign secretary is Vikram. Vikram yeah. yeah. Yeah, Vikram, uh, 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 Vikram Misri, Vikram, Vikram Misri Saab. And finally, uh, Modi was happy to install him. And somewhere down no, the line, no, no, no. Uh, Vikram, uh, you have to know, Vikram has uh, uh, absolutely experience, fantastic, fantastic uh, background. I have, I have, I have the pleasure of knowing him, him for a long, long time. time. <laughs> oh, but then again, I mean, it's a matter of pride and, for us. And, we have and, to. And, yeah. and no, no, because, because I think. I think, I think he didn't, he didn't pick him pick because he's a Kashmiri Pandit. Pandit. No, 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 not because of that. Not because he of that. He picked him because of his very experience. Qualities and... And, and, and that, that, that is because, because he has worked, has worked in so, so many different, different senior level positions. Level positions. Whether it was a deputy uh, national, national security advisor, national security advisor, he was Chinese, China, and other policies. Yeah, and he, he, diplomat. Has been, he has been. Very but uh, Doksa, uh, Doksa, it was also with the Kashmiri syndrome, which we call. They were not there because on the mercy of Indraji. They were there because of their own capabilities. T N Call, P N Haksar. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. They had tremendous capabilities. They had tremendous capabilities. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I totally agree with you. Doctor, how will we? How what will, what will, painful is that they didn't spend enough time going to Kashmir and understanding the issues of Kashmiri Pandits and then promising them something that they would. They would yeah, they should have. They should have done that. But I would Sheikh Saab would have not resisted. I I personally feel he would have not resisted to any idea, any political dimension which would have helped us to have our legacy back. Anyway, I'll just move ahead. I have some two two typical <laughs> assertions. I think I don't know how will you react to it, Doctor. One is that, uh, you know, uh, there is a saying, rather I also say many times, Kashmir now. Let's talk about wider Kashmir, the complete Kashmir. Uh, Kashmir now he has become a flourishing carrier, carrier hub for everyone across the world. One assertion. Another assertion is 
that uh, Gulam Nabi Azad said as he became the chief minister, he said that there are more international players to Kashmir <laughs> than the local actors. So how do you uh, have, uh, I mean, uh, just uh, think about these two connotations? Sure, sure. I, I think I the think first, first one, one is, is, is kind of getting, getting worn down. down. In the sense, in the sense we, had we had a lot, a lot of, of think tanks, for, for example, America, America who is specialized on Kashmir matters. matters. Hmm. But, but quite but honestly, honestly, after, after uh, Modi ji came in, in and they and saw, they saw a, a, see, the, see the, you have to understand, understand the reasons the why that ambiguity exists is because, because India, India itself was ambiguous about its relationship, relationship with Kashmir. Hmm. I mean, I mean the, the fact it would actually allow anti-national organizations to prosper. The fact that you allow a terrorist like like, like uh, uh, you know, know this um, J K L uh, uh, Yasin yes, Malik to flourish to around, around uh, including the United States, States. keep an alternate channel keep an alternate channel open not just by Congress Prime Minister but also by the B J P Prime Minister two I C T and and these ambiguities basically gave a feeling in the West that India really was looking for an accommodation. And so and these, so these, 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 these think tanks came up on, on, on board because they certainly saw there's a there's role for them, for them, for, for their glory, glory, for their doctor pieces, for their students, for their. So you so have you have created an industry of sorts because, because India had knowledge by, by having, having the presence of Puri, which, which openly said they don't accept the constitution of India. They created they that that that, uh, that, that that feeling that, that, that India, India did need help, help and, and they were they willing to uh, do the, give that, that help whether uh, India wanted it or not. Or not. So, so, so there was that. that but I will tell you this: uh, as, uh, as soon as, as uh, Modi ji came, uh, I think Modi there was a feeling was that a we better start looking for a different job. And and they still hung around for a little while. Well, and, 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 and one of the interesting things in Washington, Washington is, Washington is where, are where are all those, all even the Indian Americans who were involved in this business, business because they all would, 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 would also capitalize on it, uh, because there's nothing better than to see a Indian American criticizing India. I mean, that's American Indians allow that. So then that's an authentic Indian American. He criticizes India. So, first of all, they were the ones who jumped the ship, because they knew Modi is going to be different. Because America is still trying to figure out who is Modi. Um, for all I know, they, they, from their perspective, Modi was somebody who was denied a visa and then eventually, you know, they had to give him a visa because, you know, he became the Prime Minister. So they jumped the ship. But then after the 2019, the rest of them have to jump the ship. So Kashmir now is not anymore on the screen. You cannot, you literally cannot beg anybody today to have a program on Kashmir in the United States. They are fed up with it, monotonous. No, this is a, you know, this is a kind of a, you know, Pakistan is actually trying to find a space. I mean, they 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 tried with this genocide of Muslims and things like that. They're still trying some space. Uh, uh, but it's not working. But I think you know, our Modi ji and our, our Modi ji and our foreign minister are doing their. I mean, they are the best possible. Our foreign minister right. is the best possible. So, so, so yeah. we'll see. So, so we'll see. Uh, and that, diplomacy that's on is on, that's on, on the second yeah. side. Second side. Uh, the, your, uh, your second point was about, about uh, more Mr. Azad. Uh, uh, international players than the local actors. I have actually great respect for Mr. I think among I think all the Kashmiri leaders, leaders right now, right he is the most he nationalist. nationalist. He really he believes really in his heart. He is an Indian. The rest of them are, you know, with, with, with all, all this caveat. caveat. You they, know, I saw the other day a speech by... Uh, Mr. They are nationalists, but when it comes to six, they defy it. Rosalar means saying that we gave we gave blood for India and now India... I would like to ask him, when have you ever gone to some Jawan's house who shed his blood for India in Kashmir? I mean, these guys are all speaking nonsense. But the fact of the matter is, Azad Saab is actually... The, probably the only probably one who deserves the deserves to, to the ranks and, and a very well developed one who also has accepted, has accepted or admitted, or admitted public, public that Kashmiris, that there's something, there's something, something weird, weird in them. In them. They, they would they rather, rather not think about progress. They would rather not think about modernism. They keep hanging still on to the fact that Sheikh Saab gave them the dignity. 
that is, I, I, he I, feels I, I, he feels very really strongly, really strongly that was then that was then when this is when now this is now and Kashmir is better wake, wake up and join and the, the join the 21st, the 21st century, century which they are still refusing to do because, because they have these leaders they have unfortunate these leaders, leaders in both national and national and PDP elsewhere, 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 elsewhere that are basically that are trying to keep, keep them, them you know keep, keep their, their feet tied to the path when they should be actually looking at the for the future and all that my own my feeling own is that these, these political, political parties, parties actually, actually make it through the state election, state, state assembly election. election. I think I people, people will find out within three, four, four five, five years, years that these that guys are not the ones that they really have. have that's why they're future. Yeah, so but the, why, why does the other constituency go? Like you say, if uh, if NC is not there, then then the the hard radicals they come in. Like you should uh, the you have seen the side. Hard radical, hard radical like Jamaat want, want to be part of the process of today. And they want to be processed and they are not liberal by heart? No, by no, no, no. See, they, see, that's the, that's that's the that's thing. That's that's the, they, they, they are looking for the land of opportunity just the same way as NC and PDP is. So there is no difference today between NC, PDP or Jamaat, quite honestly. It's all in semantics. And 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 they and what they are doing is they are basically postponing. Nee, Doctor, uh, uh, they are postponing the statehood. As a grassroots man, their politics may be uh, it may not be a difference. But when uh, when NC comes to power, or for that matter, uh, this uh, this uh, PDP comes to power, their administration is secular. Their uh, their relationship with the people is secular. They are they. they, they but when it, as I tell, I'm an analyst. You are, yes, you, have a, you have given me an emotional reply. reply. It's not it's not born, <laughs> it's not born by the ground. Okay, they are, that's they true. Are not, they are not they are who they are. They have, they the, have the capacity to say, to say well, let me tell you, in my book, if you read in my book. Uh, we are coming down, uh, Doctor, we are coming down to your book now. No, because I will, I, will, I will tell you, I will tell you, yeah. even the most dreaded man, Sayyid Ali Shah Jilani, there is not a more pro Kashmiri pundit leader has been in the last 20 years before he died than Sayyid Ali Shah Jilani. And I am, the book will tell you all the data that I have which proves it. I mean, you mean to say, uh, kindly elaborate. Aha, now you are, now you are taken by Ali Shah Jilani, when he took over the Tariq Hurgan. Hmm. And there's and a story there why he split from Hurriyat and all that became sorry, but I'm not getting into that. But, but the fact is, at that time, he, 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 told, he told his cadet, I don't I want to see a Kashmiri, a Kashmiri single Kashmiri pundit killed him as a target of killing him. I don't want to see that. And I know of incidences because, you see, as I told you, because I have, I have been in touch with Kashmiri Pandits in the valley, the 808 families. The book is, the book is dedicated to the 808 families that yes. never left the valley. Chronicles, uh, the Kashmir Chronicles is a wonderful Kashmir, book, Kashmir, I must tell you, and uh, uh, Doc Saab has written it. It's a, it's a very extensive, exhaustive book, and uh, it tells about the ground reality, uh, so sections of governance, interactions with the common masses, and it is on the basic as an analyst, not as a not as an emotional politician. It's a wonderful book. It should be so, read by no. everyone. Yeah. So let me Please. let me finish that. So what 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 what, what he, he it, it, there were there times when these families felt threatened. And, and some of, some them, of them reached, reached out, to, out me. to me. And I immediately and I told them, told send them a word, word to Mr. Jilani. Jilani. And, and I had I some names of his assistants and all that. And, and they, they would, would call that. And, and, and certainly those guys, guys would disappear from outside their house. Because they, probably they had this. Uh, they and you will notice that there were no targeted killings of Kashmiri pundits when he was the head of the Jamaat Islam, Tariq Huryat. And, and the first, first killing, killing, which was Ajay Pantha, that took place, uh, uh, took place, uh, he had already he had left, left the thing, thing and he was and basically he was dying, dying at that, at that time. time. And, and so, so there, there were a lot, lot of people, people waiting in the line. Now, I'm not giving you a clearance that Jamaat Islami organization was like that. I'm just saying Ali Shah Jilani, who was the final arbiter of life and death of politicians in, in Kashmir based on information from Pakistan, closely tied to Pakistan. He was a Pakistani planted person, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but had, had this feeling that Kashmiri Pandit killing Kashmiri Pandit was not going to give him any positive. Any, 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 any,
ژورس گر حوال کر ژورس گر حوال کر تو یو دا پرسن ہو از اسپائلر یو گیو ہم دا ہی ول پروٹیکٹ یو سو دیٹس ویری سیڈ دیٹ آفٹر 70 ایئرز وی اسٹل آر بینکنگ آن دیس سچ ہی ہی واز ناٹ آئی ووڈ ناٹ سے ہی واز اے ڈاکٹر I mean, many of what I did was, uh, was, uh, was, uh, was, uh, was, was, uh, was classified, you know, what I can't discuss it. But I will tell in general terms. I will start by saying, I didn't know, by which you, did you see, Jigalji, a, a film called, nuclear film called Falkenheim? No, I haven't seen, I haven't seen. Okay, it's a hit, it was a hit last year, in fact, it was the, it was the first movie that opened up Inox Theater, when the Inox Theater opened up in Sopanagar, you know, that was the first one they showed, the Oppenheim, and after Oppenheim. Dr. Oppenheim was the father of the bomb. My point was that the, 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 the uh, uh, security clearance that he had, the grade of security clearance that he had, was exactly the same that I had, uh, which, is, which is the highest you can get, because you are, you are, you are dealing with the American good, uh, nuclear secrets. Uh, but part of my job, part of my job was actually to negotiate uh, with various governments of uh, Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe after, after the fall of Soviet, Soviet Union, Union how, how to get, get their get nuclear assets in, in a safe situation, situation in a safe in condition. condition. Part, part of that, that was dismantling their nuclear uh, weapons and, and part, part of it was basically upgrading their reactors, their nuclear, reactor, reactor, their nuclear reactor. reactor. Essentially, Essentially yet they, they get the safety in this. So as part of that discussion, I used to constantly be in touch with White House, in touch with State Department, in touch with the the embassies, the embassies we had in those countries, uh, uh, including India, India, for that matter. Because India, India, I came last, last was into the U.S. Uh, 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 and I was co-opted in it because they knew that you know, I, I had an Indian background. Uh, so, uh, so, part of, so, the, so a lot of that discussion was on diplomatic level. Right, sir. And, 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 uh, and, uh, but the idea was we were trying to ensure that materials that are uh, uh, nuclear materials that are in Soviet Union, Union after its breakup, up, do not, not fall in wrong hands. hands. So I was involved in that after, after, that. after that. Before, before that, that, I was involved in, before that, I was involved in, which is, which is before 1990, I was involved in a company called Strategic Defense Initiative, SDI. In SDI, we were, we were trying to essentially place Weapon, weapon systems, systems in the space. space. So my, so my job, job was to be on the area of, area of uh, uh, nuclear power, power, which will drive that, that weapon, weapon system in the space. space. Obviously, Obviously, it had to be, had to be small. small. And, and, and the, and the, the size, size of it, of I can give out now, it's classified one class time, but I can give it out, give it out now. It was almost like a 55 gallon oil drum. That is the size of the nuclear reactor. That we that were designing, we could, we could put on the space so that we can zap the, the Soviet, Soviet missiles and, and things like that. So I was involved in the, what's called SDI, SDI Strategic SDI Defense Initiative. Before, before that, that, I was involved in some of the, uh, uh, you know, you know uh, reactors, reactors which were, where we were building the, the uh, uh, ingredients for hydrogen, hydrogen bombs, bombs and things like that. So, so, um, but that but stopped that because we don't build any bombs. The United States doesn't build any new bombs anymore. Uh, and, and so, so that, that, that activity stopped. So, 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 so a, lot of, a lot of activities in that. Uh, you know, a lot of different. work I see. It's a very huge body of work and uh, the great work you have done and you have proved I mean, us all I, I, native Kashmir is proud. Part of the problem, I could tell you what my wife and children, my wife and children what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, I, want to, I wanted to ask you about your wife. You have written it in your bio data. Somewhere that you were, you didn't pick up while you was in US, you like uh, for the last half, you didn't pick up an American wife. You married back home and oh, you oh, picked actually, I, I actually, uh, that was that a condition, was a condition that, 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 uh, that my parents, actually, I got married before actually I left. Yeah. And, and actually, I my wife joined me after six months. 
And, it, and there's a story there. there. When uh, we please were leaving, please when we were leaving, we were, we were leaving uh, uh, you know, we, we could only take five dollars with us. Oh, India five. Would not give, India would not give you more than five U.S. dollars in foreign currency. So I requested two hundred dollars. Was it two hundred or three hundred? I don't remember. It was two hundred or three hundred. Maybe it was three hundred dollars. And they said we can't give it to you. Now again, I didn't have any relatives, any well connected who could probably put corrupt some money, whatever. Then it hit me. Uh, somebody told me that they tell them that you are getting married, and your wife will not come until you don't give, you get back that three hundred US dollars back to India. It didn't matter to who we sent it back. But you have to spend three hundred US dollars back to India. Back to India. Three hundred dollars from India. So, so they, what they did, they did is they said, okay, okay. you get you married, married, you get you her a passport, passport and we'll put, put that entry on her passport. passport. She cannot leave, leave the country, the country until, until she doesn't show a verification that the Reserve the Bank has accepted $300 in, 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 her, in her name in, the, in, in India. India. <laughs> so that's what she had to do. So she had to stay in, in India until I was able to save $300. Now remember, remember my salary, my salary as, a as a teaching assistant, assistant remember I told you I told you, was two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars a year. Oh. So <laughs> it was two hundred and thirty eight dollars a month. Uh, this Kashinath Panta told me that when he went to Iran for scholarship, PhD, he was only one dollar was allowed by Indian authorities. One dollar. So it was only a, a travel of one dollar. <laughs> yeah. Your your wife uh, is basically a native from Kashmir. Hello. How much, how much one dollar, one dollar. I have written one dollar story. That's a, that's my that's my program and my podcast. Okay, okay. One dollar story. Eight dollar. It was five dollars. Five dollars in nineteen seventy. And uh, you uh, you uh, I wanted to know more about your uh, better half uh, about uh, a bit of description. Well, she she's uh, uh, she a very private person, uh, so I'm not going to uh, you know, say much, uh, but the fact is that uh, she did her master's in economics from uh, okay. Jammu and Kashmir University right, and decided, decided on coming here that she was uh, you know, going to be, uh, basically we had our child first child after three years of marriage okay. and she decided that she was going to basically spend her time uh, being a mother. And she has been a wonderful been a mother to our three children. children. So, uh, so uh, that's, she attributes that's to your success thing. story. <laughs> yeah. True, because as I said, I was traveling. I was traveling. Uh, you know, uh, incredible. I was traveling. Hours that you couldn't believe. Uh, and I couldn't tell them what, where I was going, what I was doing, and that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, but uh, that's that's how that's how really my job was, and I relied on my family to. Uh, to, uh, to, to give me that, give me that, you know, that you know, sort that of cushion, cushion that I could that succeed, I in, my succeed job. in my job. Uh, Doctor, uh, I had this uh, the notion, and I had heard it in Kashmir, in uh, in Jammu Kashmir, back home in India, that uh, the, the the Kashmiri, the bone homie among the uh, Kashmiri diaspora in United States of America, although they are all all well off now, they are all taxpayers and in a good position, including Kashmiri Overseas Association. But to my personal encounters, when uh, since the last twenty days, I have I found that the. The harmony is missing. People are more. Uh, I don't know. Could you define how is the diaspora, Kashmiri well, diaspora? Well, yeah. When, in, when, in, when I was when I was the when we were when Indo-American Kashmir film was active. Yeah, uh, Indo-American. We went to the dormancy party after the, uh, the uh, Modi government came. You were also its president and founding member. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, but until we were, we were active, we were active uh, until 2012, 2014. Um, um, they really, really, I didn't, I didn't see, see really much, much of a, a uh, 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 sort of breakup break in a sense. We were, we were, we were politically active, active or interested or people were all united, united from coast to coast. coast. We ran, we, ran, we, ran, we did a number of symposiums in, in California, in, in New Jersey, Jersey, in Washington, Washington D.C., in Houston, all that. All that. It, was, it was really good. Now, now big change that has taken place in my mind, according to me, is because of COVID. Oh. COVID, COVID kind of, kind of created, created, created that gap, gap. gap. and that, that gap, gap basically ended up, ended up defining, defining the, younger the younger people from the older people. people. 
Oh, so so older people, we are older people, and we are, we came we came on the merits of our of our you know of our own personal qualification, hard work, and, and things like that. And we had to basically earn ourselves up. I mean, I mean, I remember as a student, there were days when we were not eating properly because of the the, the, the scholarship money was so small. Now then, these youngsters came up. And these and were, they, they were all coming with the jobs directly, directly because they were being transferred from, from Indian from IT company, company to America. America. Yes. So they had they no had idea no that what it meant to, yeah. to live hand to put in, in America. They came with a silver they spoon in their mouth. Begin your life in America. Yeah. They, 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 they began their life. They, they put them in front of the computer, and not only they are clicking away to their job, they are also earning money, which is sizable amount to start with. Big amount. So they, so we saw that. We saw. There was a gap between the priorities of these people who are thinking more in terms of you know financial investments and this thing and that thing. And we are thinking about children and grandchildren and that sort of thing. And as I said, that gap had already started. But then when the COVID came, that almost created a really a gulf. So we do have, even if you go to a Kashmiri function right now, you'll see the youngsters will be all one place and the older guys will be in a different different place. So there is a generational gap as well. Yeah, There is a challenge. So there is that. I think, I think, uh, the, 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 I think that in my own line of work, where, I mean, all these people now who think somehow, you know, we didn't do enough. We could have done this. We could. I'm not. I'm not. That's one thing to say. We could. We could have done this. They're saying even today I can do something and change the things in in Kashmir. Yes. I I would tell them how you. Oh, now we have social media. Now we can raise this thing. Now we can do that thing. Now we can do Google. That's all spontaneous. Spontaneous. We can do that. We can do that. I mean, that's the. That's for the. That's for the. Not only in US. That's for the entire younger generation. They have this kind of fun. You know. See, they the don't, different they don't, they don't, so they, don't, they think they somehow they can you know they can do those kind of things so there is a there and is they, a, they cry more, they cry very more, soon more, yeah more, the more age age, more, age uh, gap doctor uh, uh, just a small question one two question then we uh, within two hours and uh, i wanted to ask uh, okay i can agree in Kashmir, uh, the political situation, the politicians, or whatever situation is there, Kashmiris, I mean, I mean the Kashmir, both sects of Kashmir, Kashmiri Pandits and Kashmiri Muslims, I mean, they are kept apart and there's a difference created between the community. I'm not talking about the politicians and the, 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 the infiltrators and the terrorists. I'm talking about the common Kashmiri. Kashmir. But uh, why uh, we are away from the valley, and uh, I, don't you think there should be a, there should have been a bone homey amid the larger Kashmiri community, in, which include Kashmiri pundits and Kashmiri Muslims there? I, I think I, I, I think Kashmiri Muslims, think Kashmiri Muslims, Kashmiri Muslims would, would, would rather, rather have that. Have that. I, I think uh, they are more I oriented are to more that, oriented accommodative. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that because okay. they don't because they accept don't the notion accept the they had anything to, do anything to do with what happened in the what Kashmir. See, they don't blame. You have to you have to hear the again the speeches of the new uh, MP uh, Rahul Ambedkar to understand their language. Where they say language. Where they say, I want to. I want to. I want to be. I want to be. Take, you know. I want to be. I want to. I seek forgiveness from Kashmir, but that's what what happened. But you know, we didn't do it. It was all these agencies. It was all these Pakistani jihadi. It was all somebody else. Somebody else did it. Somebody else did it. So for that narrative. It's very easy very for easy them for in them America, America, Europe, Europe, Europe to come out and say, hey, guys, hey, we didn't have anything. Come, come on, let's be friends. Mm. But you have to understand, for us, for us that's, that's a betrayal of our community back home. Back home. Certain. Certain. And so and we so cannot. cannot. See, they, had a, they had a major opportunity when Kashmir files came up. They had a major opportunity to say, listen, I didn't know this happened 30 years back. Because I'm a young man of 30. I was not even born then. And, 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 and you know, now that you have told me that, that I really I feel sorry that my that elders were involved, involved in, this, in, this, in this kind of thing. They but uh, Doksab, do do as a community, as a community, now we are uh, sprawling all over the globe, and people are working and here and there. At somewhere down the line, uh, irrespective of what happens at the governmental level, I think Modi Sahib is uh, trying his level best to make it work. 
but then again uh, as a community as a natives of kashmiris uh, we have to let go at some point of time because you know we cannot blame your ab in moghulon ke time mein azadi hui ab kya karoge what can you do somewhere down the line you have to liberate and emancipate from this thought especially to the contemporary jo aapke saath wala aadmi hai uske saath to baat ho hi sakti hai na to matlab mujhe lagta hai ki somewhere down the line yeah that is that is i mean it's 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 for the work it's for the work of community uh, the progressive, uh, progressive element of the kashmiri political i'm not saying everybody uh, 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 but i'm saying progressive uh, uh, component of the kashmiri community is to them to take over and understand it has to take it has to take the lead but i don't think there are buyers on either side maine dekha hai ki they are both cold blooded kind uh, no i i i possibly i possibly think at least in overseas kashmiri muslims are much more accommodative to uh, to be accommodative because i said they they they, they say we didn't have an have to you watch what happened happened they say like that yeah. and this That's is and, and actually that is insulting Uh, to people like me who had a personal experience of because maybe we all have i have my person everybody has a personal so, experience so uh, yeah. i don't i am not asking i am not asking them to do anything about it. but just but admit this yes, yes it happened it was not me who did it maybe but it was wrong it was wrong it was dangerous and, and let's move forward if yes. they only admit that it we that kashmiri muslim were more i think kashmiri pandits were more than the happy if they admit it openly yes and that then that will look very rational that will look very rational and accommodative that is the most important aspect we all expect from them anyway uh, yet i feel that uh, i i am a positive optimistic person i feel that somewhere down the line this all these lines because time is a great healer time shaitan hai time bhagwan hai so time will change everything in the future where we are what will how will we live how kashmiris have been living over these centuries when they migrated out uh, but then again we have some identity i think also the the kashmiri muslims are also going through an identity crisis that's a subject for another day sir i'll uh, there's an identity crisis because one is their culture thousands years of culture which is which is native culture and one is the the the, the culture which came from outside apart from the way of worship i i don't i mean i i disrespect i respect their way of worship i respect everybody's world we have worship but yes the cultural identity identity crisis of there but i think that is also creating a dilemma anyway uh, doc sir i would like uh, you to put a word uh, for indians uh, for kashmiris in general and for youngsters for a successful to be successful indians abroad well for uh, uh, for, uh, for i think kashmiri pandit outside are already very really successful we honestly yeah, i don't think, I don't think I can I add anything more than what what what, what, what they are doing. doing. I mean, they're all. all I mean, I don't I expect don't them, them uh, to, uh, 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 you know, to uh, be as, as much, much conscious, conscious about, about what's going, going on back home. back home. I think I think they have to succeed here, here and I think they are succeeding here. here. So, so uh, uh, my challenge, quite uh, honestly, as I see it, is, is primarily in Jammu. I I I think you have a section of the public there, Kashmiri Pandit public there. which is not doing well and i think it it, it, it behooves on the pundits in india who are extremely doing extremely well i, I would say somebody told me they are probably the fifth richest community in india on a per capita basis nowadays living, living, living outside and i think it is it is not very good that they are not taking care of their brethren back back when i told you earlier that delhi leadership is, uh, is not happy with kashmiri pundits part of their that that's gujarati leadership and gujarati leadership just cannot understand how this community of whose advantage to have are not helping their have not that's why gujarati that is that sounds weird but that's where we are my message is really to those people in india to take care of the people who are at the lower end and they are mostly in jammu and you should be doing something about that and this is this is unfortunate that you are not thank you doc sir uh, you take took your valuable time and it was your magnanimity that you uh, you accepted to come to my show sheetalnath conversation and you know the sheetalnath is a fulcrum was honor of privilege i was honored to be here i am very thankful for you giving me the time thanks a lot sir thanks my pleasure good wishes so that was uh, dr vijay sazawal uh, the great eminent personality uh, indian kashmiri indian uh, you know 
living in United States of America. Uh, wonderful. Uh, you, you had this wonderful, interesting conversation. You could see how uh, fruitful it was. And we talked about many, many dimensions, although this is not a political program and it's not a religious program. But since he's a pers his pursuits are political, so we had to talk about the political dimensions. And I hope you enjoyed this conversation. I still remember Ghalib's that couplet, Hum hai mushtaq aur wo bezaar. Hum hai mushtaq aur wo bezaar. Ya ilahi, ye majra kya hai? Dil inada tujhe hua kya hai? Aakhir is dard ki dawa kya hai? With that couplet, I wish you all the best. Namaskar. God bless everyone. Jai.